expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? You know why I would think that you would believe it, Hero? Because last trial, we had to freaking waste time on a whole section because you thought that Kyoko was a ghost and she was standing right in front of you. So yes, I would believe, I would expect you to believe that this is true. God. How's it going everybody? My name is Jesse Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Trigger, happy, havoc, dang, and rompa. We are in our very last trial, y'all. Like the final trial to end all the trials. And I'm so ready to see who the actual mastermind is. Cause I have a feeling that it's Junko, but we're gonna see. <laughs> so before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl from social media, all the good stuff, and let's begin. I guess I'm the first one Makoto. this time. You're early, Makoto. Oh, she's here, of course. <laughs> Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least, but where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However, Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said, they all came. Okay, what, Biakia? Okay. Okay, so everybody's just mad at me. I don't know why. Why are they mad at me? They arrived one after another, but they were all in the same state of shock. And now Hina's mad at me. She's always happy. He's high, so I don't expect him to know what's going on. Silence. And it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me, and so I Okay, she might tell me why everybody's mad. So let me see. Uh, strong, silent master, so wonderful, so cool, so hot, my loins are ablaze. Yes. Now listen, everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. With my scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge and shiver the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. If this is what master wants, it could be boy, girl, or anything in between. I could handle it. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, we got her back. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. Uh, is everyone here? Oh, and wearing our gloomy guts faces, I see. Okay, well then let's begin. This final class trial is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair, climaxium, climaximum? Sorrow. <laughs> That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander, I'm a bear in good standing, you know? If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. <laughs> than the hope. <laughs> Stop talking. Enough of your tedious dribble. Begin the trial already. Sure, sure, let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. So don't try and run away. Okay, all right, we're going. Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. Whatever, this will be over in no time. With an inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. And she's still angry, and he's still confused, and she's her. Nobody made eye contact, nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. They're all acting odd, like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Well, you can tell us all about it soon, at the class trial. See, this is what I mean. Like, nobody wants me to give them information beforehand, but they all want to make me unload it at the class trial by myself. Like, it's it's crazy. You're right, I'm ready. So... Ready to win, right? Of course. I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. So now it's my turn. I started making my way toward the opening. Step after step toward that gaping maw. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally on steady legs, I went down. I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. All right, this is the final trial site? What do you think? Isn't it just a perfect background for deciding a person's fate? It's the long awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. And I'm gonna sit on, sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Well then, let's begin. And here we go. All rise, the class trial, the final class trial. This will be the final class trial. Oh? I've come up with a special rule. What? So listen up. If you can figure out Muguro's killer uh -huh. and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you mm -hmm. guys win. But, but if we don't, you can't. We die. Then I win. And of course, waiting hmm. for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Right. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Sure will. And that's final. 
No loopholes. Hmm. No wiggling out of it later. Why do I feel like they're just gonna execute like the bear? Like not like they they may not execute the person controlling the bear. They're just gonna execute the bear. Why do I feel like that's their loophole? I don't know. Of course not. Bears never go back on their word. Okay. I just have one question for you. What? Oh, you're taking this serious. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Because he normally doesn't. Mastermind? Only one person? I don't think mm -hmm. so. Don't bother. Hmm. I already know the answer. Do you? You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're allowed to get me. See, just when I thought that he was on track, he just got off the rails again. Like, Kira. No. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. No. Okay. Oh, oh, we already making an argument right now? We defending our case? All right. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> All righty. Mm -mm. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? No, we haven't. I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Oh, okay. Hey, you stole my line. Oh, so you were gonna you say the same thing? Me. I'm sure of it. Oh, so they all think I that we're all part of it. Own. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Of course you do. That proves everyone other than me has been working together. How? W what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Um, the group photo, maybe? All of them think that everyone around them is their enemy. There's no doubt that this is a trap Monokuma set. He said it up so we would suspect each other. And that's something that proves it. Okay, it gotta be the group photo. Okay, so let's let's go all the way to the end. There we go. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, there we go. So let's hit that. There we go, yeah. Hmm. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. Mm -hmm. What? You too? I think that's what we all got from the little hints that he gave us. So he's trying to confuse us. To is this group photo, right? Uh huh. The one where everybody has known each other well, previous yeah. to this. Huh? Wait, but mine is different. Oh. The picture you have, I'm in it. Oh, so the picture that she has, she's not in it. But that can't be right, because in my picture... She's not in it, is she? See? I'm the only one not oh, in Oh, wow. It. See, look, look, look. Even in this one, Junko's back is turned. Why is Junko's face never being shown? Like, even Celeste is all the way back there, and she's facing the camera, but she's, like, always turned around. Junko's, I feel like Junko's the mastermind, one of the mastermind at least, if it's more than one person. I figured as much, in which case. You have a picture too, right? So let's see his. Okay, but be careful with it. Uh-huh. Pretty important evidence. Alright, well let's see. And he's the only one that's not there either. And Junko's back is turned again. It's it's okay, it's gotta be her. She gotta be one of them. This one too. I, it's just like I thought. Okay, so Jinko gotta be one of them. Secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret hmm. or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. No. My picture. Right. The ones trying to trick me. So and what about Biapia? Behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The hmm. mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Right. But I laid a trap. Yes, you did. What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Why don't we all have the same picture? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos. And that person is the one who got the photos? I think? The one who got the photos, right? Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. I thought I was tripping. The only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Yes. So, in the picture I got, mm -hmm. I'm the only one missing. But what about Biakia's picture? Because he's never even shown that. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. Mm-hmm. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only, he's one, the missing. only one missing. Yeah, we got it. 
as long what as about you yours about it, i suppose i should show you my photo as well oh thank you lateness thank you for showing up to the trial sheesh and let's see oh i didn't even get a good look at that okay all right photo in which that person i didn't get a good look at that we saw a picture just assumed everyone else was the enemy? Correct. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Everybody but me. I didn't expect everyone was the enemy. Yeah, I suspected that you go was, so. But how was that a hint? Hmm. But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? Was digging at me. Listen. Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? Mm -hmm. It's not directly connected to what we're talking about. I think he I noticed what I Joseph. noticed. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is that? I need to compare each of them one more time. Okay, so let's look at this one, Biakia's picture. Again, Junko's face is not shown, and everybody else's is. Okay, got it. So it has to be, it has to be Junko. Or Junko, whatever her name is. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that's another piece of evidence that we got. Forget about the photo already? No, I can't. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo. I'm still pissed about that. Oh my god. Hero. They went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. That's because you were. Because y'all got your minds white, I think. No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. Mm. What are you talking about? There's no way. Our minds are white. I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. Our minds are white. It's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But no. You know, can we really be so sure? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? Right. What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason, some terrible reason, an unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. Oh? Oh, what are we about to do now? Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Hold on, what is it? Oh, wait, amnesia? Amnesia? And, oh, shoot, I don't even know how to spell this. Hopefully I do. Okay, the E, the E! Okay, S, and then the A. Give me the A, give me the A, give me the A, give me the A, give me the A. Oh wait, oh, I thought I had to turn red. Okay, God, okay. No, no, there we go, there we go, Jesus. Okay, amnesia. Yeah, we all we all got white. Something happened, I don't know how, but our minds were white. Let's say that somehow, we mm -hmm. don't lost our memories. Mm -hmm. That could explain it, couldn't it? Yes. Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. Yes. As if you expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? You know why I would think that you would believe it, Hero? Because last trial, we had to freaking waste time on a whole section because you thought that Kyoko was a ghost and she was standing right in front of you. So yes, I would believe, I would expect you to believe that this is true. God. Yeah. We all lost our memories? That's just crazy. Well, we all did, somehow. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, it's, that's the absolute truth. They have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Huh. How? Because <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, Monokuma Control Room, the interview DVD, Headmaster's Handbook, the group photo. I think... I think maybe an interview DVD. Maybe we got our minds we'll right there. Who knows? Amnesia? Since huh. Did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. I promise you, you did. Ever since I got to this school. Uh huh. I remember everything that's happened. No, you don't. So the idea no, you don't. We all lost our memories. Mm -hmm. It's totally stupid. Obviously. Yeah. No. No, you don't. Okay, there must be more evidence than those pictures that we all lost our memories. Okay, so let's skip forward to Hina saying that because they don't know. Okay, there we go. No, you don't. You do not. Because you don't remember sitting with that headmaster, do you?
those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. Mm -hmm. This DVD does the same thing. Mm -hmm. You're not you're gonna show us something indecent, are you? No, I don't expect you to, no, Togo. God. It's nothing like that. It's the interviews. It's a video of all of us mm -hmm. being interviewed by the Hoax Peak Academy headmaster. Mm -hmm. When you say all of us, y I mean you. I mean you. you. All of us. Including you and me. I never did any kind of interview. Okay, well go look at it. Let's watch the DVD. <laughs> watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. Right. Hina was there. The Hero was there. Everybody. In fact, interview you. Mm -hmm. what oh. Are you I oh. Imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. Oh. Do you expect me to believe all this? That I. I lost my memory somehow. I mean, you don't remember it happening, but it's there. Like, I don't know we how. Any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. Right. What are you gonna present? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here. And it's possible. To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Oh. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? Correct. What were the interviews about? The headmaster um, said each of us dead. Coming to the school and staying time, here. And asked us the same question. Mm -hmm. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. And we all said yes. What kind of question is that? And? How did we answer? He said yes. We say no, obviously. Obviously not. Actually, we all said we could. Mm-hmm. Why don't we all just watch the DVD together so they could all see it? I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Hmm. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I mean, you did I too. Don't know. <laughs> I don't remember a thing. Right. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You mm -hmm. don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter uh. if I remember or not. Yes, it even does. If I bought the whole amnesia thing. The idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane. How can I believe that? Hero, I'm about to be done with you, man. I'm about to be so done with you. Because you have been completely clueless this entire time. So now, at the final trial, you're trying to act like you got everything together. You just know all the answers, right? Sit down. Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. You sure mm. are, cause it's all true. Thank you, thank you. What? I know it sounds absurd, mm -hmm. but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. Correct. We only have one path in front of us. Which is to figure out who it is. You really? Yep. Yep. Well, totally now. Your memory at the same time. How did we lose our memory? My head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. Mm -hmm. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie. you and how did they figure out how to do that? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. Right. <sighs> how could someone just steal our memories? I don't know. No? Come, come, come. That hardly matters, right? Yes, it does. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skull mm. and mess with your brains? Would then we all have scars. Anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. I mean, I would like to know personally. I would like to know how y'all, how y'all did that. Because I've been saying that since the beginning. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. Mm. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The okay. You with the headmaster. Taking that group photo, mm -hmm. those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. Uh huh. A reason for taking away our memories. Uh, to make us all kill each other, maybe? It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive. And the motive you came up with. Right, to, to kill each other. To get us to all kill each other. That has something to do with the memories you stole from us. I mean, if they remember that they were friends and they were in a class together. They wouldn't want to kill each other. They wouldn't have a motive to kill each other because they like each other. But if they don't know each other and we're all just strangers, that'll be more motive to kill you and let me get out of the school. So, yeah. <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Mm. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay. 
So you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. Mm -hmm. So until we do that, well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. I believe it's Junko, Junko, whatever her name is. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. So who did it? Who killed her? Hmm. Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. Correct. That much I'm sure of. Uh-huh. When you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Yes, they have of to be. Of course. They have to be here somewhere. Hmm. What makes you so sure? Um, what does make me so sure? Hey, now, how are you going to say stuff and not be sure? You're just making stuff up. Oh, my God. There's no way the mastermind is here. Okay. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. Oh, no, 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 no. These masterminds always lurk off in the, in the background, right? Oh, no. Okay. So, I'm positive they're somewhere in the school. Otherwise, there's no way they could have controlled that machine. So, it's the control room. Okay, so it's the control room. So, let's see. Let's go forward. Uh-huh. And. Yep. All right, there we go. So, let's hit that away. Bam. There we go. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Somebody got to be controlling Monokuma. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? I sure did. I sure did. In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. Mm-hmm. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. Correct. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. And I couldn't even look in the hatch to see. Doubt. In which oh. case... There also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. Oh? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. Oh, that it was all of us? Okay, that it began with 16 students, and we're part of that, so. so I see, I see his reasoning. Is in the okay. School, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. Hmm. How'd they manage to survive all of this? So I... you're the only ones here? It's no. Okay. I'm not the mastermind. Well, it's uh -uh. me. I blame Makoto. Of course you do, but you know what? what? Whatever. Why me? Come right. On. It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Did we not see how I survived? Did she not see Cheerio come and clutch and hack things to save me? Okay. All right. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived... Is if he was actually the mastermind himself? Y'all are always so quick to blame me. Oh my goodness. No. What are you trying to say? How am I the mastermind, right? If I'm here not controlling Monokuma, how am I doing it? How? With my thoughts? I got telepathy? My God. Calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's Sheesh. true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. Right. Good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, Thank we should you. put our minds to work solving this mystery. Ah, well, so quick to place the blame. Have we already spent talking about the murder. He's a long right. time. What more is there to, to talk about? Y'all are all not on the same page. To talk about. I think there might be one thing. We mm -hmm. haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Right. But I thought we figured no. that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, mm -mm. that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't mm. you agree, Makoto? Oh, I do. I guess I do. Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been... Eh. Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been the other wounds. I got it. Yeah. It must All have been the, the other wounds. wounds. Covering her body. That's what really killed her. Mm -hmm. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? I did, and did you? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days made old. It pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. But who's to say they didn't die then? Possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What uh -huh. if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? Right. What? what if, when we discovered her body, mm -hmm. she'd already been dead for several days? Correct. If that's true. Then naturally, the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it does. Because 
Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. How do you know that? How do you know that? Thank you, Hina. Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means, you know. No. Know. Nope. <laughs> she uh -huh. denied me. <laughs> before I could even say anything. Yes, because you're wrong, Toko. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here she go. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? Uh huh. At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. If you're so sure we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? So now we gotta battle against Toko, right? Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot of things that I could say. All right, let's see. Nukuro was the ultimate soldier. Correct. She must have been a. A hundred different battles. Uh-huh. So, when you think about it. Uh-huh. Obviously, she got all of those wounds in battle. Who's Are to say that? You didn't deny me this time. Yeah. <laughs> you made me go all cutesy. Oh, it's not my fault. There wasn't anything cute about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, those wounds didn't come from the battlefield. One look at what was written about her, and that should become clear. So let's get her profile. Okay. No. Nope. All right, there we go. So let's hit that. There we go. Got it. I feel like these bullet times are much easier than the ones that I've did before. <laughs> no. Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. Mm -hmm. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Exactly. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle, she didn't have a scratch on her. Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. Mm -hmm. You've been denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of oppression. Why does she like this abuse? Why does she like somebody treating her terribly? It's like it gets her like happy that people are like screwing her over. I don't understand. Maybe it's because of all of Master's training. What? Anyway, <laughs> Bianca is like, don't put so me in this. sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In right. which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a mm. matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds already came dead. after she was already dead. Unless mm -hmm. anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. Yes, the come to the floor. The sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mukuro's fatal injury had been added to the truth section. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Now I'm staring at this again. Okay. Wait, I'm confused now. I'm confused because they're saying that this is Mukuro's fatal injury, right? But hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, so she was spotless before she came into the school, right? But then the injury had to happen while they were here. I'm already suspicious of Junko, Junko, however you say her name, because her face was not shown in any of the pictures. And now that I'm looking at this, these wounds look like what would happen if your body was stabbed like how Junko was when she first died. But what I'm confused about is if this happened and this is a dead body, how did Junko get up and start walking around unless she wasn't really dead? That's what I'm confused about. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's who knows if she's exactly even dead at all? When we found her body in the garden, She'd already been dead for several days. Hmm. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Oh? What? Oh, that. Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked mm -hmm. assailant. Most definitely. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. Oh, they could have been so faking who it? was it that attacked you? The identity of the one who attacked me. I can't think of anyone else. It was... Not the headmaster, right? The 
mastermind? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, no. Was the true mastermind. Mm-hmm. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask. Uh-huh. I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me, but I was wrong. It wasn't her hmm. at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out, y'all. What are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. Hmm. I think I'm gonna jump in. Jump in what? With a nice oh, jump into the conversation. <laughs> Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? Huh. An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, mm. that's the whole point of a mask. The true You're identity right. of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. What do you mean? Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? Do I? No, no, there's no way Mukuro's the one that attacked me, even if I didn't see their face. It's because she was tiny, right? Mukuro had a very obvious Finwira tattoo. Comparing that to the mass attacker, it should be obvious. So, I'm completely thrown here. I'm completely thrown. Okay, so let's see. You never saw their face, right? I definitely didn't. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. Uh-huh. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. Uh-uh. Even without seeing their face, there's mm -hmm. another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Those are hands. Oh, and what is this other part? Is it the mm -hmm. right hand? Or the left hand? Shoot! I don't Maybe know. The right foot. Or perhaps the left foot. Her right hand, I think. Or could it be the hands? The most noticeable feature of the tattoo that marks her friend membership in Fenrir, that tattoo is an easy to spot area. It was her right hand, wasn't it? I think so. I think it was her right hand. I think it was her right hand. Okay. So let's see. No shit! Shit! Alright, 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 alright. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Alright, 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 alright. So let's see. There's another part of the attacker. Oh, and what is this other part? Is it the right okay. hand or the left hand? Okay, so let's see. Is it that Maybe one? The right foot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I think you that I need to do something face. else. So okay. You now. So. It was okay. You're wrong. Let's do that. It has to be one of the hands. Is it the right hand? Okay. There we go. Okay, I was just doing the wrong thing. God, Jasmine. All right, all right. Sheesh. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A right. representation of Fenri. In other words, a wolf tattoo. Uh-huh. I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And it didn't have it. There was there nothing was there. No such tattoo. So. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, okay. You got me. Oh. I guess it wasn't her. But that so. doesn't prove that it was me. Then who else could it be? You know, it's someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, huh. Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire Except match. for Kyoko. Yeah. We were in the gym tearing you apart, so <laughs> it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, it couldn't have been any Sound of us. Sound like they're getting back into a corner. What about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Hmm. Uh -oh. it's Ky Kyoko, I'm gonna no, need you to say I something. Like, come on. Did. Come on. I insist. I don't mind showing you. Oh? Show me what? What do you think? Oh, I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Okay, so let's see it before anyone can say anything. What is it? Oh, she's showing her hands. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burned Awful, skin. It? it happened when oh. I was first learning to be a detective. Mm. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. Right. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind. 
It doesn't really bother me. Hmm. Kyoko seems to save the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. Oh, so our hands were like burnt up. My scars should suffice hmm. as proof. And her hands didn't have Does scars the in them. Who attacked you have scars like mine? No. So it's not no, her either. Not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto Thank is you. the true mastermind. Oh, poor Kyoko. I wonder what happened, like, to have the the hand scar up like that. Oh. <laughs> this is just awful. Uh-huh. My secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars oh, don't, of yours. Don't you come for Kyoko's scars. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Uh -huh. I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Okay, now he's just being a bitch. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner. Right? Yes. Yes. Not corner just yet. Because mm -hmm. if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. Huh. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're hmm. not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something. Are right. <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I'm I'm gonna be confused. I can already see. A doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. And huh. somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she how? died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Was the hmm. culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time. Oh, they could be she? stashed in that little freezer. Well, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your blue brain. Then, she was uh, yes. being stored somewhere? The bio lab. To hide a body here. Mm-hmm. To just store it somewhere? Yes, the bio lab. There's only one place. I can think of anywhere else the body could have been stored, which is the bio lab. Yes. There we go. Why the pool? Why the was the pool the option? Was probably <laughs> kept hidden in the bio lab. Mm -hmm. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? Yes. Yep. That's right. And one of them lights is all actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. Mm -hmm. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. Yes. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what the happened. The tarp. Okay, I got it. I have proof. Which is the tarp. The proof that shows the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is something that made its way from the bio lab to the garden. Okay, it was that, definitely. There we go. There we go. That was easy. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the mm -hmm. garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that uh -huh. some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says bio lab. Yes, very good reading, Hina. Holy <laughs> cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Because we the read. Kodo's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. I'm sorry, aren't you a nitpicker too, bitch? This proves okay. that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. Mm hmm. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. Mm hmm. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Yes. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and mm -hmm. put the coat on it afterwards. You made everything sound so amazingly consistent. I mean, she is always with the detective, so. That's just a wild guess. Oh, you're stuttering. Evidence. Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There okay, no got evidence. you. I was simply explaining what I think happened, but you mm -hmm. seem to be getting pretty worked up. About right, you stuttering. You say. Worked up? Yes. Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, mm -hmm. you must be getting pretty nervous. Yeah. Because the key to uncovering they your stuttering. secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're talking about unmasking the mastermind? Yes, we are, you hero. See, the bio lab contained an inconsistency, one so major it can't uh -huh. be overlooked. The lights. An inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? I can't hear you. Oh. Such a oh no 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 no. Oh well, just ignore him. Right. I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking hey, about? Wait, Makoto. Oh. What about that one thing. Don't try to distract me. What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? You better spout it out, bear. I don't know what you're talking about. Family. Oh. What? Is he trying to threaten me now? 
Oh. You forgot about that video message. Okay. And what? That you're gonna threaten me with my so family being killed? Are you sure your family's still okay? They might be. Why are you bringing that up now? Right. Your mom, your dad. They trying to distract me. Sister. They trying to distract me. Think has happened to your family. They trying to distract me. I know it. Safe as you might have assumed. Stop huh. talking about that. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Yes. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency. The inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. Which is with the freaking freezers. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay, this is the beat thing. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay. Are you sure about there we go. That's Two, three, bam, bam, bam. Are Reload, reload. Sure Woo! Woo! Okay. Hey! There we go. Bam! Ah! 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 Yes! Let's reload. Let's reload. Bam! Ah! 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 Gotta get it! Gotta get it! Bam! Let's reload! Ah! 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 Hit it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Bit it! Ah! Shit! Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Biolab lights. There we go. The biolab lights. There it is. The inconsistency Kyoko's mm -hmm. talking about is the lights. Uh huh. Oh oh. What are you talking about? Oh, Stuttering again. Like I said before, the biolab also acts as a morgue. Mm hmm. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator yes. was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. I just don't know why we couldn't open it and like look at the faces. I feel like that would make this case way more easier for us to figure out who the mastermind is. But that's just me. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, mm -hmm. a blue light would turn on. In other mm -hmm. words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. Correct. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in. And it didn't match up. Nine. It should have been ten. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Yeah, I know you didn't like doing math, Kiro, so we'll say it. Nine lights doesn't make sense. Number of lights on this should be ten lights. I got it. There we go. Ten Get my health back. <laughs> Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Mm-hmm. Suspicious? Because there's only 16 That's students simple. and six of us Just here. Call who's died here so far, and it should become clear. Yes. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka died first. That's one. Two. I feel like she's still alive. Three. Leon. Four. Chihiro. Five. Mondo. Six. Seven. <laughs> Eight, nine, Sakura, <laughs> and then ten. Hmm. So yes. Ten people in all? Yes, That's supposedly. Right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. Mm hmm. But according to the lights in the bio, there are only nine. Only nine people were being stored there. So one of them are walking around here, like I said before. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it. Hmm. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if I don't think so. That, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And mm -hmm. yet, her body was, was left still there. Then, whose body disappeared? I feel like it's Junko. Well be that none of them disappeared. Oh? Well, if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match, including mm. Monokuma's executions? There have apparently been ten deaths. But there were only nine bodies. That's uh -huh. the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. This <laughs> How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? Because somebody's not dead. The reason there are less bodies than murders, the explanation for more murders than victims, why is that? Why would it take that to make sense? What, oh, what would it take for that to make sense? Um, the same person was killed. Oh, ooh. Only nine murders took place? Maybe? No, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I'm sorry, I mean like somebody's still alive, damn it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. 
Okay, vaccination for more murders and victims. Okay, it was the person was killed twice. A gun. How? Okay, what about I don't know. The same person was killed twice. Mm. Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. I'm confused. I'm so confused. But one of the victims may have been murdered and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings. But still only nine victims, right? I'm trying to think, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so is it is it Junko or Jonko? Cause she would kill first. And then those stab those wounds look like the same wounds she would get from the pipes. And that was on the body that was there laying on the ground with the mask. So, is Junko really dead? Like, she died twice, but did she really die? I don't know. I don't know. Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that could mm. easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds huh. like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? I think I know. Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, huh. she was killed as someone else. What? Okay. I don't... Oh, my... ...stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. What? No, no, that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? How does that make sense? Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers. And that will become obvious. So the only person that's popping up is Junko. Obvious. Because Kyoko's totally delusional. Okay. God. 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 All right. All right. Monokuma file number five. Sheesh. I'm getting highly confused. My brain is going everywhere. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed at? Was it hmm. Sayaka Maizono? Junko no. and Oshina. I think it's her. Leon Kuwata. Are we really going through every name? Manjo Owada. Huh. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Kifumi Yamada. No, nobody's closing his head. Whatever. <laughs> or maybe Little whatever. Sakura Ogami. Mm. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Huh. I believe that it's Junko. Mukuro died from the wounds she had all over her body. Wasn't there someone else who suffered the same sort of injury? Yes. It was Junko's ass. Hold on. Who is this someone else? Okay. Who was it? Nope. Uh-uh. Uh Junko Okay. Oshima. Yes. Oh, damn it! God, I hate these bullet times. Okay, I must I must have to do the freaking um thing where they they hold the truth. So okay. So Okay. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that and then let's go back to Junko. Because I feel like it's her. So Okay. Not Sayaka. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I was right. Sort of. I don't know. <laughs> Junko, wasn't her fatal injury pretty yes. similar to Mukuro's? Yes. Look at the wounds. Got stabbed all well, over. Remember what happened to her? She was uh -huh. impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. Right. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. Yes, they did. That to the stab wounds Junko suffered. They match up. Similarities. Uh huh. Yes. And those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That hmm. explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me huh. see if I have this straight. Then who's controlling Monokuma? If Junko, this was to happen, someone going by that name was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Mm -hmm. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Right. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. Hmm. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be the same injury. And it's really true. Mukuro and Junko are the same person? It seems Wait, like so it. Then, 
What does it all mean? I'm it getting confused as of you. Ten victims, but nine. It also means that among the people we that one is dead, still alive. One is still alive. And that's the true identity of the mastermind. Yes. Who Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. Mm -mm. She's still alive. She took Yugo's body. Huh. And made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. Then we see her body in the lab. A little silence. Then I must be right. Um. I feel like she's not. Mukuro alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro? But we really believe that. No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ukusaba is still alive. Huh. Oh, shoot. What we doing? Okay, we're doing another argument. Okay, I thought I had to do another beat one. Okay. We need to see maybe her profile. The body was found in the garden. Huh. It wasn't Mukuro. Hmm. Then she's still alive? That's right. She no. She like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What are you saying, um, Monokuma? Do you give up? Monokuma's hmm. probably not going to say nothing. Yeah. Okay, I don't... I don't... Oh, I'm confused. For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? Okay. So let's see. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I thought I was looking at it too hard. Okay, okay. No, the body we found in the garden was Mukuro. Hmm. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was five huh. foot six inches tall and, and weighed she was tiny, pounds. tiny. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything mm. in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then mm -hmm. there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. Huh. If Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. Oh, Jesus. I think that it is you, baby girl. Here's my answer. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, there we go. It's the only There we go. I'm like, how? Are you sure about that? I think so. I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko hmm. does seem to be the only other explanation. Right? But we saw her get impaled. She died I know. before our very eyes. I know. It's so weird. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. Huh. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check a pulse check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check absolutely, I can say she for sure. Dead. There's huh. no question. Junko was dead. So how is this happening? I don't understand. The idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. Oh? And then you're withdrawing your previous statement? So what? I don't, I'm, I'm, com yo, I'm confused. I'm so confused because I've been saying Junko this whole time, but still, it doesn't make sense how. Still. <laughs> I know oh. you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too okay, bad, too but we didn't we didn't vote yet though. We didn't vote yet though. Right, thank you. We didn't vote yet. You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? I guess not, Kyoko. No, of course. I not. guess not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Uh huh. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? Huh. It can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. What? The opposite direction? Right. Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? The refrigerator? I checked her. She was dead. I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? 
Yo, I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. It wasn't Jugo, but someone else entirely. Maybe she used some sort of trick. I'm confused. Now I gotta do another hangman. God, I don't know, I don't, I am thrown. What? What is that supposed to say? Re, re, E? Shit, that's not it, okay. It's not an E. A? It gotta be an E, right? Is it not an E? Okay, so, and rep, 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 replace, replace, Repl no, that's not replace, that's not rep, I, shit, oh, it's not I, it's not I, Jasmine, stop doing that, Re A, replicate, Replacer? Replacer? Replacer is the word? Replaced or replaced? Replaced? Replaced. No, okay. All right, all right. That just dogged my health. That just dogged my health, yo. Oh my God. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? I thought it was replica, but it, it, it wasn't enough letters, so that's my fault. Places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. But how will we see that? Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that how? would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing. Right. That had to be Juko who got stabbed to death, right? It, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Yo, did they put a wig on her? Is that what they did? Maybe, maybe they put a wig on her. That's the only thing that I could think of. Cause we didn't even know the face of Mukuro Ikusaba before this, like when we all came in. So we would all assume that that's Junko's face. Right? I don't know. Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Huh. Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. Is there a way? The whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. They switched. Oh, Jesus. They switched at the beginning? I think. Okay, okay. All right. They had switched places huh. from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yeah, I'm gonna confuse this yes. entire from the class trial. First met, if that's when they switch, hmm. then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? Because that would be impossible. We would all see it. The one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Oh this, this does not. So I... You're saying the Junko we first met. Was not Junko? It's actually Mukuro all along? Then we'd already met her? I had like a normal conversation <laughs> with her. She's like, I talked to this girl. We first met. None of us knew who anyone else was. Because we didn't know their face. We just took it at face value when we saw so each other. Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. Huh. And we never would have known the difference. So we easily allowed the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, right. But Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? Hmm. She could have hidden it with foundation. Or with makeup. Like that. Mm. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion. Exposing the tattoo after yeah. the body was extinguished. <laughs> There's like no way for me to know that in the beginning of all these trials. Like, there's no way, there's no way it would know. There were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. Mm -hmm. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met I, for the first time. I didn't even notice that, I did not. But if she really did use foundation, uh -huh. correct? Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, 
I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So huh. I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. Oh. You can't deny it anymore. So Junko's still alive. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup in the So Junko's still alive, like I said in the beginning. I just didn't know how that was possible. That's true. It was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Hmm. The reason oh. such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. But so why Mukuro, would she though? The ultimate despair teamed up with someone like her. In mm. other words, it would be fair to say that, that she's Junko also that was also the ultimate despair. Oh lost the will to fight back. Right, you're not saying nothing. Afraid? What's that mean? Afraid. Oh. Fear is only possible where hope is possible. Mm -hmm. I only have despair, so fear is an yeah. alien concept to me. You're one of the you're one of the you been saying anything? Because it's uh -huh. a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. Uh huh. <laughs> As if. Then why oh. did you try and protect Junko's real identity? Right. I tried to protect her identity. Maybe. When did I do that? So he still refuses to admit it, but he could try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter because we've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our last investigation, which was with the what? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what it is, y'all. I'm just looking at everything. That? Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Watching the DVD okay. of our interviews with the headmaster. We got it. <laughs> mm hmm It wasn't just the monitor. The DVD played itself had already. Oh, yeah. They did turn it off. They did turn it off. Which, of course, meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Because you stopped it. Because you didn't want me to see the rest of them. I see. I see. Okay. You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. Yes. And the reason you did that. Uh-huh. Because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Right. Oh, yeah. Right. If everyone was okay. in the video, of course Junko would have had to show up. Mm -hmm. if saw the real Junko, then we would know the would case. It totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. The uh -huh. power outage thing was just a fluke. Oh? No, it wasn't a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage, and that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I've got to reveal that. So, let's see. Oh, oh, another one of the beat things. Okay, we gotta we gotta get this, Jasmine. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. Okay. There we go. Bam. Okay. Oh, all they're gonna do is just roar? Like a bear? Okay. Got it. So they're just gonna they're just gonna be like a bear. Okay. Okay, this is a very weird one. Bam. Let's get that. Bam. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh. 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 Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, we got it. Final strike. That's photo of Kyoko. The group photo. This should prove it. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. And I bet it's because Junko's face was always covered. The video wasn't the only thing you took. Uh-huh. You did the same thing with this group photo. There we go. Uh oh. Oh? I noticed it just a little while ago. When we were all comparing the photos we got. Uh-huh. The photos. There's a certain similarity. In unusual circumstances. We couldn't see her face. So unusual about them. We couldn't see her face. The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures was that Junko's face was always hidden. Uh-huh. She was always covered up. The unusual circumstance is Junko's face. There we go. Get my health back. <laughs> The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. Mm-hmm. And every single photo, can't see it there. She's turned around in that one. And she's turned around in that one. And then it's covered up. 
It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single mm -hmm. picture, don't you think? And on Correct. top of that, in this photo, you can see that Lucaro is clearly visible. So in huh. other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. Ah. Oh. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. So I wonder what her face looks like then. Because if you look at Muka, well, you can't see it because my face is covering it. But her face does look like the Junko's face that we came to know. So what does Junko's face really look like? That didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, uh -huh. then it would have clearly revealed yes. that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Correct. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, everything Makoto said is true. Uh huh. And Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she mm -hmm. killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real, real Junko is the mastermind. Alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. Uh huh. This killing game. She's the true mastermind. The ultimate, the ultimate despair. despair. <laughs> this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no, wait, hold on. Oh, why are you sweating? Why are you sweating? There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. Right. Lose everything. Right now. Let's go, Makoto. Let's go, Makoto. Oh, ooh, oh, this is the okay, okay, this is the y'all know I take a while on these things. Y'all know I take a while. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, I think I got it, y'all. I think I do. So let's, let's reenact it. You. Okay. So this has to be right. I know this has to be. We met the ultimate fashionista, uh -huh. Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived. But Correct. that wasn't the real Junko. That was actually Mukuro. The girl we saw before us was actually uh -huh. the 16th student. Who had taken Junko's place. And right. The girl's name was Mukuro Deceiving us from the beginning. Jesus. And well, she died. Before she died at the hands of Monokuma. Uh huh. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Mm hmm. And that's when they took out the body. It was kept in a bio lab. Which had been converted into a more Okay, I'm right so far. Junko decided to put her body to use. Uh huh. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab and put it into the garden. Carried her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko. Hmm. Proving to be one big thorn in her side. Hmm. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive. And right. Somewhere inside the school. Is that right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, good. <laughs> and she so said, stop. Put on a mask and then attacked me. But Kyoko was there to stop it. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, mm -hmm. she left the room. And then put the mask on the other body. She put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This huh. was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. So she what does her face look like? Had only recently taken place. What does her face look like? And then when she tried to do that, that's when the bomb went off. Mm-hmm. So that we couldn't see. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She right. needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was uh -huh. actually the same person we that met we met. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And so what does her face look like? Is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. Is Junko. Junko. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Junko and Oshima. Junko. There we go. Hmm. That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to ah, say to that? What you gotta say? I would love to see the real you. You're broken again. Nope. You can't get out of this. So uh huh. Try. Come on. Still not saying it's anything. You finally revealed yourself. It's not like you're an endangered species. Or <laughs> How long do you plan to keep hiding? Right. Let's see your yes, face. Junko, the game's over. Let's see your face. Over. Oh. 
<laughs> Did you really think this story would end once we reached the climax of the case? I don't think so, because we still got to know the rest. Uh-huh. We still got to uncover the secrets of the rest of the school. So, are we going to see your face? So that's the ultimate despair, Junko Inoshima. She looks kind of the same, but without freckles. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. So now here she is. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. Ew, I don't like her voice. I don't like her voice. That gotta be a fit. Don't tell me that's her real voice, because I'm gonna be so upset if that is. I'm gonna be blown. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking. Have you what? made your choice? Will you serve under us? No, thank you. Oh, did you think I thank was you. being serious? Okay. Sorry. I was just messing with Thank you. God, because that voice is about to blow me. If I had to listen to that the rest of this trial, thank God. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Hmm. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. It's so weird hearing the voice. This is the mastermind. She is the real Junko Inoshima. Yes. Looks like I've finally been set free. Huh. to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like so. I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. Why does she sound so I get dry? So easy, you know? Your face. Right. What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? Um. People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. She sounds like a bored high school teenager. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just making you guys kill yourself. Like, because I'm bored. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm like, oh my god. I feel like... This isn't the first time I've seen you. Oh? No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Um. Before I got to the school. Uh, before arriving? Okay. All right. All right. Get our health back. It was before I ever came to the school. Oh, the magazine. Okay. I remember seeing the magazine cover. I could have sworn inside the school, so that's why I was getting confused. And you were on it. Mm-hmm. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far. Yo, her oh, voice so is I blowing me right. how it's so dry. And what you told me in the main hall when this all began. Uh-huh. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh. That's because... Uh-huh, they switched. They switched. Okay. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? I cannot that believe this. I cannot. Quite seem the same. Right, because, because it was, was a, a different, different person. person all along. I'm me, and Mukuro is Mukuro. Apparently Mukuro was she Juko, so. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Because she was too much of a soldier. Two can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. But you guys have the same Maybe eye, so. I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So they're twins? So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud. Wow. Mukuro. That's the why they look alike. And cute. That was... <laughs> Me, Junko fucking Enoshima. Okay, so she has three different freaking voices. Oh my god. All right, now we got a real voice, maybe. Who knows? And together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair. Oh wow, wow! She's a totally different person now. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. Oh, she got a mouth. I mean, I'd be cussing too, but she got a mouth on her. <laughs> You're twins. She's twins. How do you have different last names? Oh, that again? Huh. Any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe oh. it's new to your dumb ass, but it oh. me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Okay. Just whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The mm. truth is fucking lame anyway. All right, you ain't got to say all of that. The Damn. Your twin, that means you killed your own sister? Probably, yeah. reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. <laughs> As if. 
Also, I'd better explain. What the hell is going on? You had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma. Now she sounds like Siri. Things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Did she have like multiple personalities too is that she could be best friends with toko like at this point because she's switching to so many different things because naturally she turned out to be the letdown of the family leaving oh. you behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries such a disappointment so i decided to play the role of director and have okay. her join the rest of you in your school life i could have huh. worked alongside me but she would have been useless to me that way besides 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with of course the fact that she was the ultimate soldier uh -huh. was something of a problem that she would live she had what i call the three atrocities atrociously rank atrociously mm. filthy atrociously repulsive it what? was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society meanwhile my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that i didn't want to go to waste and that's and... why you switched identities so right her inability to match my personality was even greater than i'd calculated because y'all aren't the same person house. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra, unworthy of line. Oh, wow. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away, which is precisely why I killed her, to meet everyone's expectations. Damn, so I guess being her sister just didn't matter. She was just like, yeah, you gotta go. Wow, I, I, I am confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Can't be your only reason, can it? Right. No. Of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. So killing is exciting to you? I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? I'm I'm about to be done. I'm about to be done. Now she's turning into like a little waifu character. My good god. If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. She should be like the ultimate different personality. She should be the ultimate like lizard, like a, a ultimate chameleon. Almost. God. I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal, mm. just God. as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Right, because I'm thinking, why would she offer her up, herself up to die? Huh. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? What, that despair is great? How do you talk like that? Right! You sacrificed your own sister. She's crazy. She's How she's a psychopath. Bother you? She's what? a psychopath. I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Yes! <laughs> Misunderstandings sure are scary. Yo, I, I cannot. Ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. I, I, I. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those Are you sure? people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. I <laughs> just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it. Yes! That's not true at all. Okay, here she go. Now she now what? She's sad now? What? What what personality is this that what why does she have mushrooms on top of her head? It, 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 I, I can't even make words. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets God. Me so excited. Lord. My precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. Yo, she's super confusing. Super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 a part of of split y'all know that movie that that movie where he had all those personalities i feel like i'm watching that right now what the hell is wrong with you right my sister too in that moment of death i think she must have felt that despair after all 
to be murdered by your own sister and only as an example to someone else. Right! You must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. What? Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. <laughs> you're some kind of it's like you're crazy. Turning your own despair you're crazy. into some kind of fetish. Yes. The abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like genocide, Jill is crazy for. I sure. thought she was crazy, but she takes it to another level. Level of nuts. Yes. Saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can oh. kill the weak. Right. Oh. So I'm hopelessly attractive. No. Brilliant. Hopelessly athletic. Hopelessly psychotic. I'm hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Right. Master's way more perfect. Oh, here she go now. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. And? Don't you mean have that noble blood? Oh. Did you just say? Oh. What do you mean by that? She coming for his family. <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow. So now she's playing as the bear again. Solve all the mysteries, and yet here you are. Yep, yep, yapping away. Are you okay. talking about our memories? You've mm. already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer. Okay. So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve <sighs> the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start floating. So now we're back to the damn bear personality. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. Okay. And we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Okay, so let's get to it then. What memories did you steal from us? Us attending the school? Pictures were taken? Maybe. And those interviews? It must mean... I got it! Huh. It must have something to do with our entrance exams. Maybe. Oh, there. At least give us a hint. Your brains are like sponges. All grippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All oh. the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monokuma told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. Huh. I, uh, mm. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill you. Yes. Again. Right? So you do remember after all. Ah, oh, here we go oh. with the boring one. I would hope you wouldn't okay. forget something so important. This is a it dry one. Got it. Got it. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, do you? Let me ask you another question. Did you oh? notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Yes. Theme? Yes. Secrets, so that's money. That's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Um, the theme of the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder, Monokuma gave us those DVDs. On my DVD was footage of my family. On Sayaka's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So for the first murder, the motive we were given was human connections. I got it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Mm -hmm. ding, ding, ding. There we go. She's so dry. Ding, ding, ding. Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. Uh huh. For example, my family. Your family. For example, your friends. Mmm. I ruined all those relationships. And, and she feels the results. no remorse. It to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. Wow. To kill. What a cruel thing to do. Yeah, it I is. Get it. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay. I, oh my god! Now we got bubbles again. I don't understand. So, what was the theme for the second motive? The second motive, the motive's theme was that's when we got those weird envelopes. Okay, those are secrets. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed, so the theme that time was the past. I got it. Yeah, our past coming back to us. Our past, right? Yay! Right. Makoto got it right again! <laughs> Time, the theme was this is just I, I love how she just switches randomly like from personality and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret mm -mm. so how long do you plan on dragging this out right relax, relax. okay on to the next question so, Jesus 
What was the motive for the third murder? Was it money? The theme for the third murder was the reason Celeste returned to murder when she wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the murder was greed? I got it. Yes, because it was money. It was money. What? Seek and destroy. And here you goes the foul again. one. This is the foul mouth one. Okay. Goddamn hmm. straight it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. And I feel like this voice fits this crazy person. I feel like this voice is the correct voice. But who knows, because she keeps switching. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? Correct. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Okay. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Um, the motive in this case of Sakura's death was what was it what was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing her secrets, so the theme of the motive was blackmail? No? Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. So it was something else, it was something else. Okay, so then it was betrayal, right? Okay, there we go. I knew it wouldn't be obvious as secrets. So, okay. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal. And there goes the, the sorrowful one. Anyway, there's mushroom it looks head. like you answered all of my questions correctly. Hmm. How oh, painfully delightful. But what's the point? Right. What is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? They go all lead to despair? Maybe? Right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those are Oh, Lord. I hate this voice the most. This world. I hate fact, this voice. There are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They mm -hmm. compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. We refer to. Despair? <laughs> Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed I of cannot despair take this voice seriously. Nourishment. I and can't take it seriously. Is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of huh. the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this? Right, it's like, here we get to it. Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? Or is if it not it changing missing, the subject? You would see I'm not changing the subject. And there we go, we to Miss Teacher. Your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is uh -huh. closely tied to your own memories. You see, by taking away your memories, uh -huh. I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. Lord, how many times are you gonna say despair and hope? Memories give them hope. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway. <laughs> is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? Correct. The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. Oh, then there was what a chance of us about? escaping? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. Okay, that you're right. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. And the not kill our friends. The only to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. <laughs> And then now we're back to the Monokuma bear. Which means if we did have our memories, then hmm. we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? I mean, we did say in the interviews that we accept living here our entire lives, so yes. Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? Huh. A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. Hmm. I want more distress. More distress. Jesus. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, uh -huh. let me give you a hint. Okay. Then hurry up and tell us. Everybody's just waiting. Like they say, seeing is believing. They're gonna bring out the DVD, ain't like they? For you to see oh. The outside world. Oh. The outside world. I mean, the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Did everybody die outside? Is that what happened? And is that why the upper levels is messed up? Cause maybe like a bomb hit it or something? Like there's war outside? 
Who knows? Now are you interested in what okay, I let's see. Say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see too. See your so let's face see. Sink into let's the get head. to it. God. <laughs> now then, open sesame. Behold. Okay. The world beyond the school walls. Let's get to this it. The outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Yo, just show it. Oh. Huh? What the hell? Oh, so there's a big ass. There's what? There's a what? So it's just war and a big ass monokuma. Kit. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Dangerous. The world oh my god. So very dangerous. That's what this means. And why do they all have monokuma heads? About? None of this makes any sense. What am I looking at? I don't even know. From a movie or something. Right? What you just saw. All of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. Is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If what? You can't remember. Please just try. So this has already happened? <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass. Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. Okay. I don't ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause mm -hmm. now it's time for the final class try. And we, so what we've been doing this whole time. Oh my God. What have we been doing this entire freaking time? God. Genocide Jack's memory photo of Kyoko and the headmaster in the group photo. Good Lord. Oh. Come on, bitches. Remember oh. Oh, you're not gonna call me no bitch. All right, hold on. You want us to remember or whatever, but right. when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you uh -huh. showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. Oh, maybe I can What's use Genocide Jack's memory. Is this another one of your practical jokes? Huh. I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Uh huh. Nobody can remember anything. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. You can, though. I'm gonna need you to sneeze for me, Toko. Just sneeze. Sneeze and we'll see. Actually, she might remember. Mm-hmm. Who might remember? Yeah, the other hand. The other Toko. Right. Genocide Jack. Uh-huh. of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But they don't share memories. Their memories aren't linked, right? Right. If their memories are separate, Mm -hmm. Then even if one personality is forgotten, the other one would the still remember. Still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you All right. Telling me to swap places for her? Yes, this is the one time that we actually want her to come out to so bring her out. Oh, absolutely not. Bring her out. Like forfeiting my entire identity. I don't care. You're the only one we can rely on. Go ahead, Bianca. Make her do it. Uh huh. Make her ass do it. There we go. Look how fast that switch. Look how fast that switch. She just gave in like it was nothing. Because that's her master. I'm going to ask you a question. Huh. I want to have it answered immediately. Okay, there you go, Biakia. Take control of the whole situation so that we don't have to waste time. Do you know anything Good. about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Mm. Oh, that's for you. Oh. oh. Um, I'm the master. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. And she just don't care. To meet you too. Wow. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. <laughs> aye, aye, Roger, you got it, Captain. Uh huh. So look at it and remember. It looks like a big monokuma, like it's supposed to be Godzilla, and then everybody is following in suit. I don't know. Well, does it look familiar? Right. I don't have all the details, but. Of course it does! Okay, so you remember. All the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! Okay, so, so let's say it. your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? Cause she didn't want to. No one bothers to ask me. I'm in the quiet tape, you know? Oh my oh god. god. Oh my He's god. The worst liar in the world. I mean, she didn't say like we lie. She just didn't say it. More importantly. So if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? Hmm. What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? No, we don't. Fill him in. Tragedy? 
Maybe I can help you remember. No. No, let's get to it. Right. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. Oh. It was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right. What? Is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. Huh. Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? So how is it now? It's been destroyed. Get it? Okay, so I was right. They they gone through war and everything, so everything's Explain gone. Yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. So, what caused it? I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. So, Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. So what caused it? Like they just keep saying it's a tragic, tragic event. Like what happened? It turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it. Come on. Right. There wasn't is no a single concrete description in there. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Mr. Okay. Mozart, I'll play out in real time. So why don't you ask her? Oh. You already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Huh. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations. To die. To die. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we are really trying to solve this case with two psychopaths. Like, I, I... Okay, okay. That's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, <laughs> it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world what? ended. That's the important So we just thing. never get out of here? The world just end. It's it's the world. Right. Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to comment. Why not? Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. So we're just all waiting for everybody to die? Ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. What? It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, Ooh. which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. Why is she coming from Byakuya so much? What did you say? Oh, I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. I mean, he did say his name. So, and what there do you goes. Think happened to the Tagami family? The Tagami family fell, I guess. Well done, peasant. Wow. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. <laughs> and if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. Uh, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? Uh, uh, I think it might be a disease. They just switch it now, so like every know. second. Do you think I might be sick? Oh yeah, you are. Hey, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? Ooh. What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his Why specifically his? Even the distant relatives. Whoa. His name has Whoa. Stop with these idiotic jokes. I don't think it's a joke. And said with such authority. Uh. A peasant would dare challenge us, the avatar of divine punishment. Oh you my god. Learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. So is he the ultimate broke ass? Like, what is it? They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The uh. Tagami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. Oh my god. Hold so on. vulgar. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense. No, you don't, There's Bubbles. No way that Fight. happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. So how is this intact? If some kind of world ending, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? I don't understand. Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Oh? Mistaken. Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Or it happened while we were here? I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. No. A few weeks ago? We were here already. Oh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently. Right? Oh? 
two years? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wow. What? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> What yeah. the hell is this chick trying to say? I mean, you guys were here because your stuff is upstairs. But in the end, you can't deny the truth. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. Oh! So, you and then surely the teacher already... Oh my God, I'm... So far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Of going here. Answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. The memories of going here? supposed to answer i i just don't know what's going on anymore oh my goodness still we have to answer somehow if we don't everything ends right here the memories that were stolen from us if what Jugo says is true if we first came here two years ago but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so 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 the memory she took from us was our life at hope's peak if we accept that what you say is true, right? We all lost our memories of the last of the two past years. two years. Oh, you're coming to this school. No, 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 no. That's it. I mean, no matter what anyone says. Uh huh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. I'm so tired of her. This routine again? Right. Lost two years worth of memories? That's yes, right. apparently. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. My and goodness. That entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. I'm surprised you remember what you had for breakfast yesterday, Hero, because you be high all the time, so I don't expect you to know. That, that's not possible. Mm -mm. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it, but that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe I want it to be impossible but if that's the truth then we have to accept it oh what are we doing now okay we're making another argument okay oh well hold on we could get um the locker notebook locker notebook right and the group photo is also a good one too uh-huh I could never lose something like that huh you've been living here for two years yes Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, huh. I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Huh. I got you never even gone to a single class! Oh, you have! This is all just surreal. Huh. Plus, if two years have passed, uh -huh. how freaking old am I? I don't know, actually. I really don't know. <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I don't want to believe it, but I know there's evidence that reveals the time as students we lost. So it's definitely the notebook. So let's fast forward. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's get that gone. And let's get that. There we go. Because you have. Because you saw that locker, Hero. You saw that locker. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. Mm -hmm. This notebook right here. It's yours. Huh? Hey. Why is my name written on it? Because it's yours. I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If mm -hmm. you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Are you sure? Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's right. kind of similar. It's your handwriting, isn't it? Even more than that. <laughs> this is absolutely my mm -hmm. handwriting, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. Because we were here before. No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. Uh-huh. Somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's a no. big lie! It's not, I Hero. Believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Which is hers as well. Whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory, no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that? Is the two years of missing memories? My goodness. After seeing I just want to know how they did it. Do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't huh. it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Oh, oh my man, lord. I've never been to a funeral. Hell yes! Oh my god. Two years of school life. And then there she goes back to the oh. of youth have you missed out on? How many mm. fun classes? How many school events? Oh, you bitch. This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And uh. on top of that, 
something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event yes. in human history. We see. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. Mm. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you forgotten, huh. you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. Oh? To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Were what? You Explaining stuff is boring. You better talk! What? We are bored of this world. Everyone Lord always Jesus. talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. I just but can't. Then they always fizzle out. Can we just kill her already? It's just so desperately fucking boring! Can we just kill her? What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. Because we feel despair? So completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, God. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. I'm You're sick right. of you too. Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Jesus. Where our memories come apart. Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time. And that was... When I fainted? At the end, huh? When I fainted. Okay, okay. Cause I did faint. I can't think of any time other than that day. Uh huh. Cause I fainted and woke up in there somehow. So how did this happen? To the gates of this school and step foot in the main hall and mm -hmm. passed out. Was overcome with a strange sensation. And then that's when they wiped away my memory. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? And you have enough spirit to keep on changing personalities. So I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And right. And sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. Huh. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on the desk. Mm-hmm. I can't believe all this is connecting. How much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by. So the they were so wow. Because our memories of the time had been removed. Had been completely removed. You but how? Me? Two years of memories? <laughs> gone. Which means, of course, when everyone met for the first time, it wasn't. It wasn't actually for the first well, time. Well, I knew that from the group photo, so I know that. I'm aware of this fact. You took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... Mm -hmm. But by that point, we'd already spent two, two years, years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Right. <laughs> okay. That's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. Mm. You spent two years together. And, and then, then started, you killing, started everybody. killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. Yo, let's kill this damn thing. Let's kill her, what man. A terribly tragic tale. Let's kill her. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. You're the one who set things up to be like this. Correct. God. Oh, shut up. What? Shut up. Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. You're crazy. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, oh. I'll tell you all about it. Good, start idea, talking. We came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair, all mankind? Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Okay. So when everyone first came to this school, school life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Cool. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Oh, Mondo and mm, Cheerio. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. Ugh. We're all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever. Of and then goes back to the, the teacher. Look, only made it through that first year. Oh. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. But I'm trying to figure out where the heads are coming from. Biggest, like, where did Monokuma come from? The most tragic event in human history. And who's controlling the big-ass... Like, who? Soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. 
And as you can imagine, uh -huh. the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What hmm. are you? Hmm? What do you mean? What are the you? The tragic event in human history. Right. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? Huh. Maybe. An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. Mm -hmm. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. What? How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. I can just... You know, it's almost like a natural phenomenon. I'm about to really get a headache, y'all. I really am. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just, I just don't I... understand why. We didn't ask you to try uh -uh. to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay. Oh my so, goodness. Let's get back to the story. I can't take these switches. Those peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the wow. eighth class of Hope's Peak Academy. So there were other the classes ones, before this. Okay, no, got it. Something super neat happened. Now pay attention, because mm -hmm. this is important, and I'm only going to say it once. So right. What? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter. Oh, really? It was transformed into a shelter. Like a bomb shelter? Did it twice? No. Someone was responsible for that transformation. Correct. For creating what would eventually become your prison. Oh, that had to be Kyoko's you father. You know who that might have been? Kyoko's father. The one who turned Host Peak into a shelter was the headmaster. A gun. Yes. Which was oh, Kyoko's man. dad. The headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. Correct. He wanted to turn the mm -hmm. school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us, us and that's why he asked us to stay. From the despair and tragedy taking place outside. And that's why he said he would take care of us and everything. That's why he asked us to make that promise. Correct. To say that we were ah. to live in the school forever. Okay. Because he wants to protect us from the outside you world. Something like that in mind? Yes. If you, the huh. collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah. The headmaster put that much faith in you. And because ah. we had that same hope. That is why we all agree to say yes. Well, we wouldn't go out there in the world where it's just but chaos. The shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Oh? <laughs> mm. laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. Of the crazy twins. He had no yes. idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. Just ruining everything. Was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that mm. made it impossible for you to escape despair. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It oh. me a ton of time. Let's By kill way, her, man. It Let's you kill her. Who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under wow. the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. Oh. I mean, oh. We trapped ourselves in here? To and keep you away. About it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little okay. shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And start killing everybody. And began the killing game. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Lord, here come the mushroom head again. Years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. I just, I just can't. And the can. only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. And you let us live. So that we could kill each other. So we could go around killing each other? Yo. Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? She's a bitch. Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. So then what would you do? Just live in a world with nobody? It would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. Oh, good. But I thought I should show them. Which is why I... Which is why you broadcasted it. Well, why this is why you broadcasted it. Me? 
I understand. What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world was to broadcast it on TV. Okay. I got it. I understand. I understand. She's just a bitch, though. Okay. To hi hijack? Hijack? Yes, hijack. Okay. Okay, get that eye out of here. Damn it. Now I gotta look for the J again. Okay, there we go. To hijack the airwaves. Now I understand. And broadcast. I see. Okay, that one was a little easier to do. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school mm. which was meant to be a symbol. To of give them no hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The wow. world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair mm. is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. Great. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the <gasps> way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue And what happened to them? Are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the, the machine ground, guns. I had no problem expelling them. The machine guns at the front. Expelled them? Wow. I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to get That's why that was there. Wow. Wow, man. But oh my end, god. I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? Yep. To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Correct. Well, sure. But I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Mm. Give and take? Huh? You're so full of shit. Oh, and oh. He cuts it out. <laughs> when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. I just. Sorry. That's a lie. Huh? <laughs> you despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. Mm. That's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? No, you it doesn't. The mystery, but despair at the truth, right? No, because we're still gonna kill you. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? Probably. And if we did. Then what? Our oh. final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If Wish you would reveal everything. To solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless. How would you react? What would you do? I, See, you know. Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair too. Like right fucking now. Okay, so can we kill her yet? Truthful of despair. That mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all, you would have never gotten it. We've been murdering each other. You would have never got what you wanted. And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up mm. here, then start all alive, yo. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. Uh huh. We'd spent two years together. Right. <laughs> No, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> Thank you. Stop laughing. It's not funny. You're okay, you're totally awesome, right? We get it already. He's like, just stop it. it. I'll do anything. Just help me. Aw, hero. Isn't begging for his life. Oh, don't do that for her. Delightful. Don't do that for her. I've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. Of course it doesn't. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, <sighs> there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. Oh, I fully no don't understand this whole no thing. No understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but uh -huh. there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Oh? Huh? You say the huh. world's falling apart. But we had all oh, yeah. I've seen it for myself. He's right. That's so right, Makoto. I don't accept it as the truth. There we go. We can so still have hope. Your own eyes. Truth and falsehood overlap one another. In huh. other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. What then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth? Right. Until you can go outside and see for yourself? Yes. Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. But we still would like to see it. I'm not lying about any of this. 
Even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. Mm -hmm. I refuse to lose to you. There you go, Makoto. Everyone you've killed. Huh? Right. Everyone I've killed? Yes. What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. No. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. Okay, you manipulated it. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. Ah. Uh. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say mm -hmm. what you want about hope. But we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Oh, well, yes. No. Well, that's funny as shit. No, it's yes. not. This isn't just some game to us. It's a game to me. I'm playing, I'm playing with you also. <laughs> it's murder. Plain and simple, you stole our memories, invented reasons for us to do it. Mm -hmm. You pushed us all into a corner. It's yep. all your fault. Yep. You have a talent for passing the box, don't you? That must be your hope. Huh? But we don't have oh. much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. I was wondering who we would. I'm talking about the vote, of course. All right. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? So we're still going to vote you. Since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. Oh, my God. You guys so full of hope and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. You, bitch. Even one of you votes to punish hope. Let I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of hope. What? Like it's just one person. Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. You don't get a vote. You, don't. you still got the upper hand in all this. Right. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, mm. let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you. Oh, guys, when you win? You'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. Oh my god. I mean, we just We'd have to just live here forever. Live here? And everybody impregnates freaking Hina to have her children. <laughs> She's saying she'll let us live. If you're not happy with that, hmm. then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. I do want to punish Enter you. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists. Huh. Where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait That's what she saying. She got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying what? Of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't going to dig that at all. So, huh. here's what will happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. Instant. What? So what is that going to be? You can't just... Do you mean to say you'll execute one of us? Right. And I get to decide who's going to have to suck it down. Makoto, you're up. Oh, and of course it's me. Yeah. God. I've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you. I bet you do. Because I've been figuring everything out. In front of them. If a single person votes for hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. Oh, y'all better not. Y'all better not sacrifice me. They might, though, because they've been trying to sacrifice me as a bomb test dummy, so they might. On the other hand, if you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. Cool. I will force you out. Ensuring cool. you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. Force us out. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Y'all better not vote for me. Y'all better not. Y'all better not. Have you mm. lost confidence? Or are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friend? I can't, I don't know, because they kind of offer me up it. quite a few times, it's so... Okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Huh. Oh, oh. You what? Oh, all right. I got y'all. I got it. Your lovely faces eroded by despair. If y'all go for me, I hope I come back as a freaking ghost and haunt y'all for the rest of your freaking lives. I hope to goodness. Besides, Yoko. You could never betray your father, could you? Um. I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why Ooh. he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. Mm. <laughs> She's evil. Gioco, one She's evil. Despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that 
just the most hopeless outcome ever? So oh my god. Who do you think's gonna give in? Who's despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No. Uh, right. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. Hopefully. I'm not gonna lose to you. Hopefully. So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Uh-huh. Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time okay. for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And okay, your so stupid let's life. let's punish her. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. So what is this? Oh, we gotta make. We, I gotta make an argument for me to live. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta make an argument for me to live. Got it. Understood. We won't give up. Uh huh. As long as there's hope, we'll mm -hmm. never give up. If I were to That's die, what you say. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Cool, let it be the end. Hero? Okay. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. Oh? The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Oh, she got a good point. That could be a reason why we're all still alive. If I die, huh. the purifiers will screech to a halt. She's kind of right about that. As soon as I die, hmm. the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Meh. Oh, she doesn't care. All right, so let's move on from her. All of you will have to leave. Huh. You'll have to go into the world outside. We're only death and despair are waiting. So, huh, what are we gonna do? So, what are you gonna do? Will uh, you just die? Is that what you want? No. Kyoko, they all about to kill me, yo. There's no help left in the world. When you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. The world is in despair. You are in despair. Huh, if I don't do something, everyone's gonna be consumed by despair. Oh, I just lost a life from that? You claim there's no hope left in the world, but if despair is contagious, like you say, then so is hope. I use my own hope to plant seeds of hope inside everyone else. Okay, so I just, I just lost a life there. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. So should I just shoot it at that? Don't lose hope now. Okay, there we go. So I'm just putting hope on everything. Oh, fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. Huh? Yeah. Oh. It's moving forward, right? Correct. So even if it's hard. Even if we're scared. Uh huh. We don't have any choice, do we? No, we don't. Y'all not gonna kill me. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. Yes. Well, oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Uh huh. No matter what, I need to get out of here. Thank you. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. Thank you. Give what it up. Matters is my own gut feelings. Thank you, hero. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give up. All right. As long as there's hope. Okay, let's get that again. Then let's go ahead and fast forward to everybody. Okay, he's believing in himself. All right, cool. We gonna get you now. There we go. We gonna get everybody. We're gonna get everybody. I've been thinking about all this. Uh-huh. At a time like this, Aww. what would Sakura do? She would keep going. Get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Mm-hmm. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That's right, Hina. That sounds like something she'd say, right? Yes. I think that's definitely what she'd say. It is. Why I... Yeah, I've made up my mind. There we go, Hina. There we go. We give up. Okay. As long as there's hope, Okay, let's get that. There we go. Okay, so let's speed it up. Let's get to Biakia and Toko. Uh huh. And let's skip forward. There we go. Let's get her now. I don't know how we're gonna get her to be convinced, but whatever. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Me too. I did too. <laughs> Huh. No matter what, Master has to come along with us. Oh, he will. He will. We won't give okay, up. so let's let's get the whole thing again. Hope, we'll never give up. There we go. So if let's skip forward. Let's try to get Biakia in it. By the way, 
Okay, okay let's skip, skip, skip. We got it. We got it. Skip that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, now let's get him. There we go. Uh huh. Oh. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? I mean, I'd give it a try. Ridiculous. But will you? Never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But mm -hmm. don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. Of course. I just I know you would. My word. I swore I would end the life of the mastermind. There you go. Stick Besides, to your convictions. The Gami family isn't dead. I'm still alive. Okay, there you go. That's so a good way to look at it. Restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's get as hope. As hope. Okay. And then let's continue. Okay, so let's continue. So we got everybody but Kyoko, but Kyoko's wasn't orange, so who knows? Huh. Uh huh. Right, and let's get Kyoko finally. Now it's orange. Now we can get her to come in. So come on, Kyoko. I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. Right. Even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. Oh. He would never want us to abandon the code. Thank you. To stay here. Thank you. Thank you. He does not want anybody to die. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just Thank you so we much. Don't actually know anything. Does that mean we can't understand? Could it be? Mm -hmm. No, never mind. What? So, Makoto, I don't think if she don't speak up. School because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. Was he the ultimate hope? I bet you he's the ultimate hope. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You uh -huh. came here to confront despair without ever giving up. Mm -hmm. That's true. I think we could call you. What I say? The ultimate. Hope. What I say? The ultimate hope. What do you think? What the? Oh. The hell are you? <laughs> so I'm the ultimate hope now. Okay. So uncool. Your stupid faces. Huh. The stupid things you said. The stupid way you all treat each other. Yes, let's so, kill you, so bitch. Cool. Let's so kill you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Lame, lame, lame. I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but still, but I still am gonna take you down, bitch. I'm gonna take you down. Let's go. Let's go. You Let's go. What do you want? So uncool. You dare to stand against us? This is a joke. Who are you? Huh. Ah, ah! There we go. Ah, ah! Ah, ah, ah! Get it? Ah! Ah, 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 ah! Ah, ah! Ah, ah! Oh, Jesus! Okay. God. Okay, now we can see it. Bam, bam, bam! Got it. Got it. Now we got the beat. Now we got it. Hello. Yes. Yes. You're done. You're done. Suffer from despair. Woo! Woo! Got it. Final strike, the ultimate hope. Let's get it. Let's get it. Die already. Sheesh. I refuse to give up. Thank you. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. Uh-huh. Because there we go. Is the desire to keep moving forward. Woo! Going on. What's We're happening? killing you. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna kill you, bitch. We're gonna kill you. Oh, there we go. Hopefully I get an A. Well, I got an A on the other ones, so. Oh, I got a B on one section. Oh, I probably did bad. <laughs> I did bad on one section. Okay. It looks like we've reached the end. Uh-huh. I think it may be time to vote. Let's you get it. Pull the lever, right? Let's do it. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Thank you. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Thank you. Let's get it. I'm so ready. Let's get Junko's ass out of here. Let's go. So that we can get out of here. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Get, get the crazy bitch out. The hell? Uh-huh. You've lost, Junko. You lost? I lost? I lost me? No way. It can't be. 
You um, still don't accept it? Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. The but there's no use trying to fight it now. What? Well, that's just... What? So this is despair. Oh, we came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it no, to come I... this far and fail at the very end. Oh, it's the most despair. ultimately ultimate despair. What are you even talking about? No, I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately, this once in a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death to have the chance to taste of the highest to taste of the highest grade of despair, the, alter, the utter failure of my dreams. I'm so hopelessly happy right now. Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway, so are you prepared to admit, admit defeat? You think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change the thing. Outside is only despair, inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair waits you. That's not true. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> and she's crazy. Everyone, you said that despair is as contagious as any disease. But the same is true of hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Kyoko. Stop it, stop it, I hate those faces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. Fine, let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the world of hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide, no matter, maybe you'll find some hope, but there is a very fine line defining that hope, dividing that hope from bitter despair. Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Of course, because we- Shut up! If that was a rhetorical question, you interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done though, so whatever. Because it's almost punishment time, right? Do you really intend to go through with this? That's, that was the agreement, right? Hold on! It's not like I want you to die, you don't have to. Stop it! Just let her die. The act of living brings me no hope at all. All I want now is to taste the despair of death that you only get once in life, so... Okay, I won't. Go ahead. Okay. So this is how the despair of death feels. Oh, it's so wonderful. Man, just even die already. Of this despair, even a hundredth. Just I die. Every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. Just I die. Want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. So let's get to it, bitch. Let's get I've to it. I deserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's get to Let's it. Let's give it everything we've got. Yes. It's punishment time! <sighs> <laughs> okay, get to it! She has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Let's go. Oh, she's not being dragged away. She's walking away. <laughs> So she just had all of the freaking punishments all in one. Wow. Emergency what? Override. What is that? We had the option to stop it, but we didn't. Maybe. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Inoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope Speak Academy. It was all over. The all, everything done. Everything finished. Wow. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception, the air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said, they shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Ooh. Goodbye to spare high school. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door and nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were struck with there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end, we have to figure out what's out there. We have to figure it out. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors? Okay. Up until the moment of her death, it belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. But is this really it? Is that really the key to the door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our very that it would be our way out of here. But but you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. Maybe. 
Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, yeah, um... I guess that's true. <laughs> so there's nothing to worry about. If and something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jam them so far up. Okay, there we go. We got her back. Hey, where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. What? Leave? We can go outside? Then that means me and Master can get married? And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby? That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greater whore than anything I've encountered so far. <laughs> He's like, I do not want to plant my seed in you, okay? Anyway. Anyway, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. It's, it's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. But you know, in the end, I think part of me still thinks maybe when we get out of here, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. So let's see. A lie, peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we were meant to live. Um, yeah, I guess so. So can we go? And how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure that must be some, some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? The act of searching for hope to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter- Okay, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm done with saying all the hope. Let's go outside and let's see what it looks like. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Sagami dynasty. I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I could figure out the rest from there. And when, what are you going to do if there are no more donut shops or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. I get it now. Mm. If there's no road, you gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. That's my hope. I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hakaguri's life story is about to begin. Thanks, Hina. You totally opened my eyes. Hey, personal space, buddy. Your sister creeped me out. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair, as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out of there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small. So what can we do? No, we probably can do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. So let's go. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Mm. And, and goodbye to Sakura. Okay. If we gotta say goodbye, we mm. may as well do it with a smile on our face. There we go. You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, <laughs> anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. Okay, you know hero. how much I hate being annoyed. <laughs> but if something does come up, you may as well let me know. Thank you, Biakia. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. Whatever. I don't know why, he secretly likes us a little bit. I have a burning desire to start writing. I mm. might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me. And the others, I guess. Okay. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still. It does feel kind of strange. I hmm. really don't know what to say. Let's just I all go, guys. Graduated? Yes. So let's go. It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. Let's go. I've been sitting here for like almost three hours. The door began to open with my hands, with our hands. Hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Oh. Okay, so let's open it. Let's see what's on the outside. What's gonna be there? Oh? Oh? Yo, don't tell me they're not gonna show me. Do not tell me they're not gonna show me. Oh my God! Oh my God! I ooh. Okay, okay. So he's just not gonna show us. Got it. Oh? Monokuma's... Somebody's still there. Things are getting very interesting indeed. How's he still moving? How's he still talking? At the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. So he's and alive. I am your... I am this school's headmaster. 
Wow. Wow. Oh my god. I... I, I <laughs> Great. All right, y'all. So that is the end of Dang and Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. We have completed it. This... So Monokuma is not even a bear. Well, okay, so he's not a bear, but he's a thing. He's like an entity. And he's just alive no matter what. And I'm kind of blown that I'm not able to see what was out there waiting for us after this whole entire thing. So that's kind of a blower. I guess it's something that they want us to interpret on our own. But I did enjoy this game. And I was right about suspecting Junko. I just didn't know how Junko was still there, but now I know. So this game had a lot of twists and turns. I will be playing the other games because everybody asks me this every episode and I said it since the beginning that I was going to do all the other games. So yes, if anybody else in the comments is asking, I'm going to do the other games, okay? And I'm going to watch the anime, but that'll be on my own time when I'm done with this stuff. So that I don't spoil myself, okay? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. If you did stick along with it, I appreciate you. And if you did like the video, make sure you leave a like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with another video game. So we'll see what that's gonna be. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later and deuces.